We're here at the Konjaku Shin Dojo in Grimsby, a unique facility that has to be every martial artist's dream. This traditional dojo offers classes not just to adults, but also to young children and people with learning difficulties. Dave Kershaw, his wife Angie, and several senior instructors maintain a thriving club that receives regular visits from some of the world's chief karate instructors. This is the Konjaku Shin National School of Karate. Karate Do is popular throughout the world. The Konjaku Shin National School of Karate is one of the UK's leading karate dojos. The brainchild of karate enthusiast, teacher and student Dave Kershaw, the Konjaku Shin Centre is trying to spread the belief that karate is not just a sport, but a way of life and a means to gaining spiritual and mental fulfilment. I think around the early 70s the uh, Kung Fu series and Bruce Lee films, they caught a lot of people's imagination and I was one of them, but it's something I wanted to do for a long time since I was a child. But I, I never knew of any clubs in the area. So it wasn't until uh, 72 when I was in a band and a bass guitarist joined. He was a, a third Q brown belt. So I went along to his club and that's where it started. The philosophy of the, the club, and certainly mine, uh, is to try and promote karate as a way of life, not, uh, not a couple of nights sport a week. It's much deeper and uh, not everybody will reach that level, but uh, I try and guide them in that direction, make, uh, make it clear that karate isn't a sport, it's not about uh, just competition and fighting. That's a part, a small part, but uh, my hope is that people will still be training when they're 70, 80 year old, uh, you know, maybe starting at 7 year old now and still training in uh, 70 years. That is my idea and that, that would be uh, a job well done not just to win some trophies and in the short term they stop at 15, 16 uh, or 30 in the case of adult sports. Most people stop at 30, 35 and that's it. Karate is something you can do for a lifetime. So that would be my aim to make it uh, open to everybody to train. No limitations on ability, no age, no sex, just everybody. And that is the, from the start that's been my aim is to bring as many people in from different walks of life. The karate starts with uh, the physical and it starts with the obvious fighting uh, system and the blocks and the attacks and, and dealing with the opponent. Uh, much later on it becomes a personal battle. So it's not about uh, beating somebody in a fight. If that was what it was about, then most people wouldn't train if it was just about fighting. So there's got to be something deeper. When you get people 60, 70 year old taking karate up when they retire, then there's got to be something more than just fighting. And the, the more mature people tend to recognize that from the start. There's more in it than just uh, a sport. Uh, and so eventually it becomes a battle against yourself and just self-improvement and just uh, a way of life. So it is a, it's very deep on that level. For anybody interested in a martial art, I would say first think what you want out of it. Um, what appeals to you? Do, you? do you like the idea of kicking, punching, striking uh, as a form of self-defense? Would you prefer throwing, grappling, wrestling, weapons? First of all, think what you want out of it, what appeals to you. Uh, and then ask around. Uh, and clubs get, uh, don't get good or bad reputations or nothing. So ask around if, if uh, one club keeps coming up. People say you should go to this club, go along, watch a session and see what you think. A new student coming into this dojo the first day, they won't be thrown in at the deep end. They won't be put against a black belt to free fight. It's very, very uh, well structured. They'll be in their own group along with like-minded people, same level. Uh, they'll start with some stretching, some strengthening exercises, learn the basic punches, kicks, stances, and it'll be a very slow progress over three weeks, and then we'll take them back to the beginning once they join the club proper, and then they'll keep in their own groups uh, all the time, and so they'll progress gradually at their own pace. Shin is spirit and heart. Konjaku is ancient, modern, old, new, and so it's really the traditional karate practiced in today's setting and in the same spirit. Uh, we're in the Konjakushin National School of Karate in Lower Spring Street, Grimsby, which is right at the end of the A180 coming into town. Uh, you'll hit the Lock Hill roundabout. Can't miss it, big red building right in front of you. Uh, my name's Shirley Gotterson, and I've been coming here for six months. Uh, when I was six, so I'm 22 now, so 
quite a long time. I'm nine and I've been coming to karate four years. Well, I started since I was seven here and uh, well, it's been quite good actually. My favourite bit about karate is um, yeah! Kata and um, Kumite. It's a good form of exercise and it's a, for myself, it's a family orientated thing because my husband and my son both come, so it's something we can do as a family. What keeps me coming back is the fact that there's, um, there's always more to learn about karate and you've never learnt it all. There's always more perfecting and getting things right and training harder. My favourite move is the kick, kicks. My name's Angie Kershaw, I'm one of the instructors down here at Konjakushin National School of Karate at Lower Spring Street in Grimsby. I teach the children's classes and also the uh, special needs class on a Wednesday evening for students from Wheelsby College. The uh, students from Wheelsby College would be 18 up to 21. So the class is for adults with disabilities. Um, in terms of content would be exactly the same as the adult classes that are happening every night of the week. Um, it's just possibly the pace that differs slightly. And again, you know, we spend a bit more time on the basics, make sure we've got a good grounding in basics and then moved on to, on to more advanced uh, techniques. Yes, I think, yeah, in terms of motor skills and general, general fitness levels as well, and um, concentration, participation, and there's always the total involvement once the students have actually um, participated in the classes as beginners, and then they can always integrate to these other classes once they've reached a, a stage and a grade that, uh, that they could quite happily cope in these classes. After about a year, I began um, escorting the students to the karate class. Um, it, I, I felt it was part of my role to, for them to gain access to um, leisure activities within the community uh, in which they were living, because they're all from different parts of the country. And um, the Karate Club um, provided an excellent opportunity for that. Um, also, I believe that because of the club, it's got a certain etiquette that um, if you're part of the club, um, you have to um, abide by certain rules of that, which I think is really good for the students um, um, with learning disabilities because it not, it not only applies to the karate club but out of that area in other learning aspects of their lives as well. My name's Sue Bloomfield, uh, we're at the uh, Konjakushin National School of Karate. Uh, I've been training um, here for 19 years and uh, the last few years now I've been a uh, senior instructor helping out with the uh, children's and adults classes. My name's Linda Clark and I've been here training for 14 years, uh, about eight years as a student and um, the last few years I've been one of the instructors mainly of the children's classes. The, the children uh, get tremendous reward uh, from uh, how they uh, progress uh, during the training and the gradings. Well, anyone can do a martial art. It doesn't really matter what age you are. We all get something different out of it. The children come expecting to be doing dynamic things, you know, like Karate Kid does. But they get into it and it is very disciplined, which you will, you know, agree that it's got to be. Being a martial art, you've got to have strict discipline with the children. Otherwise, they could end up getting hurt. And no one comes to karate to be somebody else's punch bag. So we're very keen on the health and safety aspect. Mainly my uh, age group uh, is four to seven Kodomo grades, uh, but I do also uh, instruct uh, adult beginners. Kodomo, yes, uh, it's, um, I, I think this is the only club that uh, actually has the Kodomo grading syllabus here for, uh, se to separate them uh, for age four to seven. Uh, the um, SKI grading syllabus we fe felt was too much uh, too soon to put them in uh, straight into that. So uh, it's um, a slower uh, process. Uh, a little bit more fun, but still the technique and uh, the, the proper uh, behaviour and uh, discipline is still there. Uh, we have students that come that perhaps have problems with coordination. Uh, concentration is the main one with children these days. Um, in school, 
um, this actually has a knock-on effect because you find that they are better concentrating in the classroom um, because they've got to concentrate here because you're doing blocks and punches and if they don't listen they're likely to get bopped and they don't like that so they've got to be on the toes and to say it does uh, to begin with um, they perhaps start going the wrong way, don't know the left from the right, but they quickly pick up on it and you can see um, each grading that they do improve and um, the parents do comment on it. Um, one particular parent said that karate has made a big difference to her son because his coordination was dreadful when he first came, but you would never believe, looking at him now, that it's the same boy and that's part of the rewards for us. Well, one of the things I enjoy about karate uh, is seeing the children when they've achieved a, a, a kicking and, and uh, jumping and, uh, and uh, blocking and, and they really feel that they're really into, the, uh, into karate. And then when they get the little uh, the grading, after a grading, uh, the, the faces and everything and the enjoyment and the improvement in confidence and uh, you know we see weekly